Hello everyone. This is looking back to Cash on the Turkish, Turkish coast. Um, straight ahead is 13 kilometers uphill, which is about 8.5 miles, 350 meters. Anyway, I came over that a couple of days ago. I'm just trickling along the coast. I'm not in any hurry to get anywhere, to be honest. But it certainly was a bonny spot to stop and rest. This is a wee peninsula. You can drive across if you feel the need. at the moment. And I'm heading that direction. I think for the next 70 kilometers it's only a matter of um, 1150 meters. Uphill. But I've got a couple of days rest here. It's a local municipality cafe which isn't open for the season. I've been staying at a lot of these places that haven't quite opened yet. And it is everything I needed. Completely isolated. The toilets are in that white block, they are closed. But there's changing rooms over here and the shower is still operational so I managed to have a proper shower and wash my clothes and clean my pots and pans properly. Now this marina, I was speaking to a gynaecologist when I arrived two nights ago, he used to have a wee boat, he sold it this year because the fees have gone from 600 euros for the year to 7,000. So it's gone very expensive in cash and he was saying even many of the Russians have moved along the coast to Fetier so if the Russians are having to move it will show you how expensive it is. Anyway, I was sitting here yesterday and a woman came along and, and lay down with her dog quite close to me and she was covered in tattoos which reminded me of a uh, when I was cycling across America 2009, I was in the Bible Belt. It was one in the morning, I stopped to speak to a group of youths. They were all covered in tattoos. One guy had the Lord's Prayer tattooed down his arm. Another guy, sadly, had the name of his ex-girlfriend tattooed across his head. young lads, they, they were free of tattoos, and I asked them if, um, why was that, the mates were covered in tattoos and they were clear. Well they turned around and dropped their drawers, dropped their trousers, and they'd opted to be branded instead. Can you believe it? And one of them said, I could hardly sit down for two weeks. You don't see. Anyway, so that lassie reminded me of that story. And now I'm on my way to jump back in this bike. It's got a brook saddle and it's got a, a, a metal plate on the back of the back of the saddle which says brooks. So I think uh, the number of years and hours and miles I've spent on this bike, I've probably got brooks branded into my backside myself. Anyway, I'm going to jump back on it again. So deep in the brand. That's it, do not judge, just observe. I'll leave you with this wonderful view of Cash. It's a nice wee place, but it must be crazy in the summertime. As always, a big hug. Much love. Bye now.